Hello and welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we're let's playing Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we finished Red's business and now we're gonna see if Brains is home. So, where is that Brains? Where he was before? And yes. Yay for more Dragon Quest. And yeah, we gotta walk all the way over there. Yeah. Dragon Quest 8, we're gonna play it and do stuff with other stuff and a guy named Brains. Where do we have to go? We've lost Omegas' tracks. And now we here, here we are at Brains' house. Let's check in on him. Hey there, Brains. Looks like someone's there. Bam, that dog is drinking good. Here's Hello, Brains. Brains. Long time no see. Back at last, eh? Yeah, where did well, you well, go? Look who it is. You came when I was out, did you, Yangers? I'm sorry I wasn't here. But you're back again. So, if I'm not mistaken, you must be in need of some information. Am I right? Yes, Always damn, we're, we on need. The ball, eh, we need the we're old info. We're looking for this bloke who looks like a clown. Goes by the name of Dolmagus. Yeah, He's we've a lost the customer. Keeps getting away from us. Have you heard anything? Yes, I've heard about him. The criminal responsible for murdering the abbot of Maella Abbey, no less. Yep. My sources report seeing him walking over the surface of the sea toward the western. The western continent. The western oh, great. continent. That's a bit easy, isn't it? Can't you be more spiffic? Sorry, that's all spiffic. I know. I wish I could tell you more. Well, if you don't know nothing more, Brains, there ain't nothing more to know. We'll have to go we to gonna... the Western Continent ourselves. How are we going to get there? An idea. But aren't you forgetting something? How do you intend to cross the sea? Yeah. I? The West. Didn't you think Most about that, Yangus? Most attacks have been significantly worse recently. All crossings from here and from the Northern Continent have been cancelled. You could go oh, at your own great. Ship, but unless I'm misinformed, you don't. I'd say that will pose quite a problem. Uh, yeah, I don't fault with that. No, I can see that. Well, perhaps I can help you out there with a little snippet of information I heard. Follow the cliffs along the coast to the west from Port Prospect. And you will come to a wide open wasteland. According Port to Prospect, what I hear, eh? there's an old abandoned ship there. I don't know why a ship should be in a place devoid of water, but anyway, magic ship, eh? Say it's a magic ship. If you could get it up and running again, you'd be able to sail anywhere you wanted. You might want to try the path to the west of Port Prospect. It was blocked by a rock slide. But I hear that's been cleared up now. Nice. Alright, looks like we know what we're doing next. Gonna find that magic ship or something. West of Port Prospect. But actually, we're not done with Pick'em quite yet. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna come to an abandoned ship in the middle of a wasteland. Yeah. I don't know, Brain seems like the kind of guy we should totally trust. Alright, I get it, Yangus. But like I said, we're not done with with Pick'em yet. There's still a few things left to do. And now, actually, after speaking to Brains, there's also something else we can also do. With the Alchemy Pot, this is actually the earliest point you can do it. And basically what you want to do is take a nap at the inn a few times. So let's go to the inn. And I'll show you what I mean when we get there. But yeah, also there's like a side quest you want to do with Dodgy Dave. There's some other stuff we can do, but uh, yeah, I'll show it all off. And then we're going to do more alchemy! And I'll put the alchemy in the um, in the video description, the uh, ingredients and the, li and the alchemy recipes in the video description. Because uh, I don't want to explain them all right now, but... We're gonna get a better piece of armor for Yangus, a new weapon for Angelo, 
a new helmet for the hero if you don't have a platinum headgear it's a really good helmet um, what else I think that's it really and also make sure to make some special medicine and a reinforced boomerang if you don't have you haven't already made it special medicine you need two strong medicines make them a special medicine make two special medicine or two strong ones you need two regular medical herbs and it looks like King Trode is working on that coffee machine again or is it the alchemy pot so yeah, you have to rest at the end, I think, twice. And then we should be all set to go with this bad boy. Oh yeah. I guess I'll put the uh, recipe of a special medicine in the, uh, in the video description. But there's also one other thing I wanted to do while I was here. Was I wanted to check out that fortune teller lady. Let's see if she's any, if she's near, is, is good as Nera. You know what I mean? Holy crap, her place is a shoot hole. And, uh, oh, it's not Nera at all. Yeah, let's, uh, help me locate something. Oh, nice, it's free, sweet. Whoa, what are those magic words? Oh, what, how bland was that fortune telling? Wow. So she she's pretty bad. Wowee. Wow, wow, woo. Anyways, let's go rest up at the inn again. And I think we'll have it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry about taking yesterday, or, well, the weekend off, really. I had some extra episodes already done, but, yeah. I had a wedding to go to, and I, and I had... And my brother's wifey is Prego's, and she's going to be having a baby probably today as this episode's being uploaded. And look at that. Trode gave us the old smile. That's how you know it's done. If he gives you the old look and he's like, hey, look at this. So, yeah. So, let's uh, look at the old alchemy pot here. And what did he do? What did he do? Holy crap, look how big it's gotten. He has improved the alchemy pot. Look at that. Now we can use up to three ingredients. That's right. Alchemy uh, formulas will now become a tiny bit more complicated, but we'll get even better things out of them. So I will see you later when I have finished them. All right, I have finished all the alchemy I'm going to do for now. I made a special medicine. Here is the hero's equip. Here's Kenshin's equipment. You know. Um. Yeah. Still got that spicy cheese, iron shield. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. Forgive me if I make a couple mistakes. Yes, I made the silver carass. Uh, for Yangus, you uh, put how you do that in the other thing. Scholars in the video description. Scholar specs for what's your name and staff of anti magic. I got the st scholar specs from a mummy man in the uh, swordsman's labyrinth. And for Angelo, I made him an, a thing out of alchemy. Mercury bandana, I made out of alchemy. And I think that's it. Those are the big alchemy things I made. So, yeah, we're back at the church. So, yeah, now that our alchemy uh, pot has grown bigger, there's actually one more upgrade to it, but we won't be able to get that for, I think, a quite a long time. Anyways, let's go over to Dodgy Dave. I think I already talked to you guys about this. Yeah, if we can just figure out a way to get a boat afloat. Like we used to. Yeah, yeah, okay, Jessica, I get it. Yay for boats and blah, blah, blah. Now, there's an a, there's a pretty good side quest right here for, for Dodgy Dave. And what we have to do is go back into Dodgy Dave's place and talk with him. And he'll basically tell us the whole rigmarole of what we gotta do. You know. Hello, let us go back there, yes. I would like to see Dodgy Dave. Yes, Dodgy Dave. Also, another thing I wanna talk quickly, speak about. 
is um Okami is eventually coming to an end well it's coming to an end very soon there's only about maybe 12 or 14 episodes left so after that then uh, I'm gonna work on Shining Force and various other stuff but eventually we'll get two episodes of Dragon Warrior a day or Dragon Quest a day so basically what Dodgy Dave does is he buys stuff and sells it to other people a lot of rare stuff he likes to pick up and since we have an alchemy pot it will help him out quite a bit so what he wants us to do and he'll give us some good stuff so he wants us to make a special medicine and then bring it over to him and he'll give us 500 gold which is totally worth it because we only spent let's see uh, 24 gold to make it because eight eight for each metal or so that is a deal. Look at that. And now we want to reinforce boomerang, and we already have that. And you make that with a boomerang and an iron nail. And look at that. We've already got a reinforced boomerang for 1,200 gold. Sure. And now what does he need? A ring of immunity for a bandit axe. Maybe we can find one on the way or something. But yeah. And a ban if we can end up getting a Ring of Immunity early enough, a Bandit Axe is like another really good weapon for Yangus. And also, it can be used to make another really good axe for Yangus later on, I believe. Um, I don't know, so let's head back to Port Prospect. Anyways, yeah, as I was leveling up, uh, the hero learned, uh, yeah, because I was outside leveling while I was doing the alchemy thing, the hero learned Holy Protection from Courage. I gave him some skill points. He learned Holy Protection, which is basically the Repel spell. Um, Angelo, he learned the uh, Sandsman Arrow, which puts enemies to sleep, but you can only use a bow to do so. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, I think Jessica and, and Angelo both learned Bounce, which is that Reflection spell uh, from uh, bringing up your Staff ability. So. That's what I was doing off screen. I think I gained like one level for each character. And uh, yeah, okay, there's another battle we just uh, beat. Yeah, the monsters here are kind of old for right now, but they will get new soon enough. So let's keep going. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to stay on top of uh, what skills I learn off screen if I learn any or during like after a battle. I don't know if I should show that or what. Anyways, new monsters, mud mannequins, and rock bombs. Beetle boys we've seen before, I believe. And yeah, they're not too bad. Mud uh, mannequins will do their strange dance, take away uh, MP. Uh, the rock bombs will blow up, but the rock bombs have a very special item that you can get. Sometimes when you uh, defeat them, it's called Rock Salt, and you can use that with two other items to make a good uh, a milk, uh, I mean a cheese for Munchie. A very good cheese, and which you can also sell for quite a bit of money. So, um, actually, that's a good way to make money. Uh, you know what, I'll put it, it's basically rennet powder, a, ro a rock, rock salt, or whatever it's called, and... Um, and fresh milk and you make soft cheese and you can make a lot of money off of that if you're looking for a way to make alchemy to do uh, make some money with alchemy and this is probably the earliest point in the game where you can start like really capitalizing on your new alchemy pot and making like a lot because I think you spend like I don't even know how much for uh, to make to get those ingredients but then the payback is totally worth it holy crap two buffalo wings oh man let's put some some hot sauce on them and chow down yeah and these guys aren't too difficult uh, I don't know why they start them sometimes with them being unable to fight you but more more uh, experience for us and we've had Yangus and uh, Kenshin have their weapons for quite some time, thanks to alchemy. And so, yeah, here we are. At this little inn slash church area. And across the wilderness, eh? 
I guess that's the wasteland they were talking about over here. Now look, oh, look at that thing. It does kind of, what is it? It kind of looks like a ship. You're right. This is crazy. That's a friggin' ship over there. Wow. Well, at least Brain's information was correct. Excuse me. Yeah, and you can get a lot of rock salt here. Good place for rock salt. Anyways, we'll have to continue looking for that ship in the next episode. See you later.